Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. And today I have brought a very interesting problem from Pathfinder and almost all students uh, find this problem to be very very difficult and that's why I decided to do a video on this one. So let's read the problem. So here's the problem. A well-known experiment to establish, to demonstrate uh, the pr property of inertia is to pull out a cloth without letting a glass placed on it to fall. Okay. The cloth spreads up to a length L from the edge of table and glass is placed on the cloth at a distance x. x is less than or equal to L from this edge. Coefficient of friction between the cloth and the glass is mu and that between the glass and the table is sufficient to prevent slipping of the glass on the table. The glass can be considered as a point particle and the cloth light. If the cloth is pulled with a constant speed, find the range of the speed for a successful demonstration of the experiment. So what uh, what's happening here is that there's a glass kept on the table and uh, let's say this distance is x and the total uh, distance to the edge of the cloth is let us say L. Then uh, what happens the to demonstrate the trick this cloth is pulled quickly enough so that the cloth comes out and the glass stays on the table. Okay. So we have to comment on what's the range of the speed required for successful demonstration of this experiment. So if you want, you can give it a try. I'll present my analysis right away. Okay, let's see. Okay. So uh, let's look at this figure. So suppose this uh, pink one is a uh, glass. Okay. And uh, this uh, blue one, blue thing is the table, it's, uh, the cloth and uh, shaded this uh, hatched hatch region this is the table okay so the glass is at a distance x from the edge of the table and uh, the cloth length is l and this distance is l minus x so uh, if we want that glass does not fall off the edge what's important is that glass must separate for from this cloth the the glass must be uh, I mean the glass must be off the cloth surface by the time the cloth edge has reached this end okay so that's what I written glass must separate from the cloth for glass not to fall glass must separate from the cloth that is it should travel at at least a distance l minus x relative to the cloth so it should be at least l, at a distance l minus x so that it's off the edge of the cloth okay this separation must occur before the edge b of the cloth reaches the left edge a of the table so before this uh, edge B of the cloth reaches here, by that time the glass must definitely be off the, uh, I mean it should have covered at least a distance L minus X relative to the cloth before the, a, uh, the end B has uh, reached end A for the cloth. Okay. Now the condition 1 itself will require certain velocity which may or may not satisfy uh, condition 2. So. Uh, first we will try to satisfy condition 1 and we will find the minimum velocity required to satisfy condition 1. So once we get that minimum velocity, we will see what is the constraint on that minimum velocity, for what values of x is that minimum velocity permissible and it will turn out later on we will see that uh, if x is beyond certain range then uh, that velocity itself will not be sufficient and we will have to increase the velocity. So uh, wait for the analysis, it is coming. Okay. So now. First of all, let's try to find out the minimum velocity so that the glass does separate the, of the edge of the cloth. So in the limiting case, what will happen if, if, if uh, from the frame of the cloth, if you see from the frame of the cloth at t equal to 0, the glass has got a reverse velocity v, right? Because of inertia, the, tape, uh, the cloth has already started moving with velocity v, but then uh, glass was stationary. So from the frame of the cloth, glass has the reverse velocity small v and it has an acceleration mu g in uh, towards left why because the friction is going to be kinetic because table has velocity and the glass does not have velocity and uh, it should throughout remain kinetic and until the glass is off the edge of the table so in the limiting case let's say glass is just off the edge of not off uh, edge of the table just off the edge of the cloth so it should travel a distance l minus x in the limiting case okay so that's what i am now working from the frame of the table the, uh, not not the frame of the table it should be frame of the cloth frame of the cloth the initial velocity of the glass is v towards right while acceleration is mu g uh, to the it should have been left okay 
left why because cloth is uh, rubbing it towards left okay therefore minimum velocity separate to separate the cloth can be found as now i have used v square minus u square is equal to 2 as and suppose i consider rightward direction of positive so initial velocity is uh, vm let us say vm is the initial velocity and uh, final velocity it just separates of the cloth then i'll assume in the limiting case that the final velocity is just zero so zero square minus vm square is twice acceleration is minus mu g and the displacement is l minus x okay so why mu, mu g because mu mg divided by m becomes mu g right so i hope you understood this equation and if i just uh, rearrange this equation the vm comes out to be 2 mu g under root of 2 mu g into l minus x so this is the bare minimum velocity required so that the glass does uh, come off the edge of the cloth glass does separate from the cloth the velocity is less than this what will happen the glass will somewhere uh, be uh, become stationary with respect to cloth and then the friction will be starting and the glass will be moving along with the uh, table itself okay so uh, okay so now for this separation to happen before the right edge of the cloth uh, reaches the left edge of the table now this is the velocity required for separation but then this separation should occur before the cloth uh, the end b uh, of the cloth reaches the end a before that itself this should happen otherwise you can imagine this cloth to be uh, let's say extending beyond the table and the table also exp extending beyond this then it could so happen that according to the mathematical equation the separation is happening somewhere over here but then this is not available that means glass is going to fall right so the separation should occur only in this region and not in the mathematical extension of the table region okay so for that to happen with the I, and i don't want to uh, use any more velocity than this minimum required one then the time taken will be what the time taken will be l upon vm right uh, vm is the velocity of the minimum velocity of the cloth for separation of the glass so l upon vm should be greater than what what is the average velocity of the uh, this thing uh, this glass re relative to the cloth so initial velocity is vm and final velocity is zero so zero plus vm divided by 2 is the average velocity of the glass with respect to the cloth in the limiting case okay so so time taken for the glass to separate is separation distance traveled is l minus x with respect to cloth and the average velocity with respect to cloth is vm plus 0 divided by 2 and this is the time for right edge of the cloth to reach the left edge of the table so l is the length and vm is the that velocity so now just plugging in the values so l upon under root of 2 mu g into l minus x should be greater than this two goes up above so 2 l minus x upon root 2 mu g into l minus x so you can cancel off the bottom factor and if you rearrange this so that that gives you x is greater than l by 2 that means what if x is more than l by 2 you will be able to do with this minimum velocity itself you don't need to well increase the velocity any further so but x should be greater than l by 2 now we'll think that uh, what happens if x is less than l by 2 so uh if x is less than l by 2 that means what this separation if i were to just give this vm then the separation would be occurring somewhere beyond the edge of the table if the table were to extend beyond what it is actually given okay and that will not do our job we want the separation in this region itself okay okay so however if x is less than l by 2 vm will not be sufficient because then the right edge of the cloth will reach the left edge of the table before the separation event and we will need to pull the cloth at a faster rate such that cloth edge reaches before the event of separation okay now let us visualize the problem from ground so ground frame so from ground frame the glass moves with a constant acceleration mu g okay from ground frame the glass has got an acceleration mu g to the left why because friction is acting to the left and its initial velocity is of course zero then time taken by the block i have written by block or glass same thing okay to reach edge a is given by you know that half at square should be equal to x so half mu g t square should be equal to x that means time should be under root of 2x upon mu g so this is the time taken by the glass to reach the left edge and uh, uh, before that itself the cloth should have reached the left edge i am assuming that suppose you imagine that this cloth is uh, extending further uh let's say this cloth is beyond whatever is shown let's say uh, cloth were extending beyond end b all the way up to infinity so you could mark a point at a distance l red point and uh, this uh, red point is moving so this red point should cross the point a before 
the uh, separate uh, i mean after the separation event right so cloth edge should reach before the uh, glass reaches right so so time taken for the glass uh, to reach the edge would have been if the let's say assume that the cloth extends uh, all the way up to infinity or beyond this then at some point or the other as you're pulling the cloth glass would uh, reach uh, uh, edge a while still being on the ta uh, table cloth as the cloth is uh, still extending beyond point b to the infinity okay so this is the time that would have been required by the glass to reach the edge okay now for block or glass not to fall this time must be greater than the time by which the cloth end reaches the table edge so this should be greater than l by v that is the l distance point on the table cloth has already crossed the edge and glass is still not cross the edge because this time is greater glass is taking more time to reach the edge so if you rearrange this we get v is greater than this okay so we need still more velocity so why i am saying that this velocity is more than the what was the velocity in the previous case because uh, i mean what i can do i can just compare the rhs of equation 8 with the previous velocity that i got that is root uh, 2 mu g upon l minus x so i'll i'll just show you that this velocity is indeed greater than that velocity uh, so uh, okay so i have taken the rhs of 8 and this is the lhs of that equation and i have divided the two and simplified so this is what you get now what you can do you can uh, uh, divide the uh, numerator and denominator both by l square and put x by l equal to eta so this becomes under root of 1 upon 4 eta into 1 minus eta where eta is x by l now when is this r minimum when is this ratio minimum so this ratio is minimum when eta into 1 minus eta is maximum that is eta is half that's simple either you can use amgm or you can use calculus so minimum value of this ratio is 1 that means what r will be greater than or equal to 1 that means the velocity required in the second case should be more than the vm that we found for just separating the uh, block from the table edge so, uh, so and the, at this speed the glass will definitely separate from the block okay so we need not worry that whether or not glass will uh, separate by the time uh, this event has occurred okay so finally from equations 5 and 8 if i want to summarize if x is greater than l by 2 the required velocity is greater than root uh, 2 mu g into l minus x and if x is less than l by 2 v should be greater than under root of mu g l square by 2x and you can see that this makes sense suppose what what if x is 0 that means glass is already at the edge in that case the cloth velocity should come out to be infinity so this does make sense right so that was my analysis of the problem i hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you enjoyed the analysis please do give a thumbs up to the video and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever medium you use for networking with your fellow students for preparing for je or olympiads and most importantly if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that what that's what keeps me motivated to do new videos uh, frequently for all of you thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you